Well, I got a call from the newspaper. They wanted to hear the incredible story of how a farmer rescued a rat rod builder out of a peculiar situation in New Jersey. So I just got off the phone with that interview and it was fun, it was all good. It was all good. Um, yeah, a little more details from that, but Timothy took off with his truck. I guess he's liking the truck a little bit more than not. And anyways, Tim took the truck back to the farm and I will see you there. Uh, I wish I'd have got it rolling down the highway, but Tim's like, ah, I'm going. And he took off with it. So the truck and the trailer are back at the farm and there's a little bad news. I'm just gonna warn you now, there's a little bad news and we'll get into that in a little bit. All right, so after careful considerations and all these funny things, I've pretty much decided that there's only one reason that this thing won't fire. Is there a nut on the back of that by any chance? That's just a holding nut. Nut on the back of it. There's a bolt right there that holds on the whole thing. Yeah, the idler and everything. There's a nut. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um. There's a 10 millimeter. Two 10 millimeters. I don't know if I can get this one in though. Let's see if we do it this way. So we pretty much decided that it's gonna be the fact that this coil was submerged. I need a wrench. Yeah, I need a wrench. He's got a Leatherman in there. Grab it. Get me the wires. The wires? I'm annoyed with you. I don't like being annoyed with you. It says coil on it, right? This is, uh... Yep. Okay. That camera on? Mm-hmm. Tim annoys me sometimes. Right? I love you, Tim. But you're a pain in my ass. You don't have to be such a big pain in the ass. You'd be a whole lot less big of a pain in the ass, and life would be a whole lot easier on both you and me. Really. Really would. So anyway, but those, I guess, are things that you got to learn on your own. And do you like getting yelled at, or do you not like getting yelled at? My thoughts and theories are that you enjoy very much so getting yelled at. Okay. Anyways, camera's rolling. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we're doing, as you can see what we're doing, but what we're doing is, I'm pretty certain, and I hate to say it, is there a silicone in there? Uh, RTV? Silicone in the... No. In the box, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it. We'll see what happens. Tim, you watch. Yep. I hear a knocking. Yeah, it is. But what's it knocking on? Sounds like a piston. That's a, that's a rod. Think. You start it back up again and listen. I will. It's in the engine, not the fan. Those pluggers now. I got four plugs that are very easy. I got 
four brand new plugs that are in here, right there, they're probably just wet. Well, it runs. Yeah. That just made it worse. All right, it does run, but it ain't good. I got just a little bit of a knock. Just a little knock. So I imagine he's either been a valve or he's been a rod. And the nice thing is these, these things are so simple, we just pull it out. I can pull that thing out of there pretty easy. I'm going to drive it out of here to save him a towing charge because they're going to charge us to tow it out of here but he's got a lot of really cool stuff in that trailer over there and that needs to get opened up to dry out uh, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay with this little knock to go three miles it's no big deal it's got oil pressure and everything so that's all right we'll go ahead and shut it off to him and we're going to put it rest of the way back together